Hi, this is Steve Graves from the Cal State Northridge Geography Department, and this is a very short video tutorial uh, demonstrating how students can use the spatial join function in ArcMap GIS. Uh, spatially joining is a technique that uh, you would use in order to, uh, say, count the number of points within a polygon. Sometimes you may want to use it for counting the number of uh, polygons within other polygons or intersections of polygons or uh, there's a number of ways of doing things but the the most common one is uh, points within a polygon and what we have here are two layers one are the Northridge restaurants layer and uh, I'll uh, maybe make these a little more obvious they're the red dots and uh, in the background are uh, polygon layers uh, which are census tracts and so um, what we want to do is to have the computer count up for us the number of each red dots that fall inside uh, each one of those polygons. Okay one of the first things that we you would want to do uh, or at least in this instance I'm going to open the attribute table um, for the polygon list and you'll see many many columns over on the right, the very last column here is uh, population or uh, square mile. Okay, you will right click on the tract layer and select from the drop down menu joins and relates and select join. Uh, we are not going to join based on a table. You may learn that at another point. We're going to join data from one layer to another based on spatial location. And the only layer that we have to join is Northridge Restaurants. And we are going to select only um, the summary, and we're not going to add any of these up. Um, it might be that there is data within the restaurant layer that we, we want to be added to our polygon layer, but in this case, we're not. Um, and uh, I will save this in a, a place where I can find it as a new layer file. And I'm just going to call this um, test X. You may call yours something uh, more informative. Click OK. And the spatial join will happen. A new layer is created. This one called text X. If you open the attribute table, scroll to the far right notice that there is a new count column. If I sort the count column uh, from largest to smallest, known as descending, you'll notice that the variables uh, that have a count will come to the top. And if I move this away, those include those census tracts with a restaurant. I can minimize that. This layer up. I had to switch to list by drawing order and we can move that up there. If I right click on test X layer and go to properties, click on the symbology tab, click on quantities, from the value field go all the way to the bottom, select count, and it will make a graduated uh, color map, a coral pleth map. Click Apply and click OK. Each of these um, census tracts now have a color that is associated with the number of restaurants per tract. Um, that column that was added, count underscore, uh, we can go into the field names scroll down to count and we can change it to something that's more useful to us like restaurants. Click OK and we can change that here as well to restaurant and that concludes this video tutorial.